day 26 and on day 26 i well to be honest i did the same okay basically the same and i did try to do curvy lines which you will see what it means later but as for right now again back to drawing cubes small cubes in different shapes different proportions understanding how to rotate them probably i will make a one day where i literally just draw a cube and rotate them over and over uh, but it does require it is actually difficult more difficult than you might think also uh, not for me here on future me a lasso fill tool which i already found thank you for, uh, passed me for giving me this knot i already found the lasso fill tool which i kind of will use for the hair to make the hair a little bit more uh sharp on the edges on the ends of the hair and yeah here a nice little figure nice little box model i guess you can say also you might notice i did uh, make music a little bit quieter i hope it's better though and here you see i <laughs> okay it looks like kind of like a some animal but yeah i'm trying to study the hair and we do some different shapes like this ones and kind of understand the hair flow and then i just just uh give up and and try to 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 do stuff i've kind of uh, one day i will figure out how to draw hair but right now i, I just you know like it's it always starts with me drawing some shapes and then uh, I, I kind of get bored of drawing sh simple shapes and rotating them and I just go and say random bullsh like random BS go right and yeah this is the moment where I figure out that my forehead is way too small for the hair like I really need to have a make a forehead where I play tic-tac-toe and on some foreheads i'm not able to play tic-tac-toe so uh it means yeah you see you you, you already saw it right when i pick up the 3d model that the forehead like the hair is way too 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 close like i need to put my forehead a little bit more uh up and draw the hair from that point so memo on me like the, i have to make more space on top this was the most memorable lesson for today i would say also the jaw lines you can see uh, trying to understand the hair flow and after i draw it it looks way more nicer so after i make the hair a little bit higher up like you know like so it goes more like this and less flat uh it more go, goes more up it started to look decent to be honest so i will take this day as a win and then eyes eyes will have the different topic for it but as for now i'm quite happy and yes yeah, thank you for uh, staying for this day and I wish you a great day, night, afternoon, and see you in the next day. Ciao.